It's time for a little update and I think these are important to show you which methods are truly working and which aren't. Now, in July, on July the 21st, I uploaded this video, ChatGPT workflow for ranking on Google in under eight hours, AI SEO. And I talked about this article right here, which I don't know if you can see this properly, but basically it had 59 impressions on the first day of being released. Now this was super, super interesting. The reason it was so interesting is because normally when that happens, I have struck gold and I've found a very, very good keyword. Now this is the article right here, semi-formal wedding attire for men. Let's have a little update and see how well this method really works. Now, obviously I've already seen this, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video, but yeah, it went through. This is the first day, as you can see, 59 impressions, just like I showed in this video right here. And then it kind of just dawdled around 53 impressions, 54, and then it just completely died. And then it went all the way up to 200, and then it just went off again. And this happens a lot, especially with ChatGPT generated articles. I don't have a reason for this. I, I don't know what's causing this, but this does happen a lot. And then suddenly it got to 63 impressions in one click and then just jumped to 1000 impressions and 13 clicks. Now I want to go through this workflow again in this video, but I also want to be really truly open and honest. And I want to show you another article that I wrote using exactly the same method. Now this is what is so frustrating about SEO. Okay. It's so hit and miss. You never know what you're going to rank for. I thought this article was going to do just as well. It might do just as well in the future, but for now, at least, as you can see here, this is why I do a lot of testing. This is why I make a lot of different types of content. This is why I use so many different prompts because I'm always looking for that one thing that will just work every single time. And even when I was handwriting stuff, it was the same. I would handwrite articles and they would pop off. I would handwrite articles and they would just not even rank on Google. So you can see I was pretty happy with the results of this. And you can see it's just flatlined again, but who knows what's going to happen in a few months. It could just completely pop off again. Now let's talk about how to find the keywords for these kinds of articles. What I like to do is I like to use Keyword Planner and there's two ways you can use this. Number one, you can trust someone else that they've done their SEO properly. And this also does work very, very well. I've been doing this recently. So you can just put your competitor's website right here and Google will basically just give you all of their keywords, <laughs> which is kind of messed up. Um, and you can find some really, really good stuff here. And I found that one way to use this is to copy these keywords into ChatGPT and ask for suggestions. Now that's not the method I used to find the keyword in this particular case. I just wanted to mention that. What I actually did was I wrote very broad terms like attire for men, outfit for men, um, classic menswear, uh, that kind of stuff. And then I pressed get results. And then what you wanna be looking for is something that is trending and also a niche within a niche. So if you look at the big niches here, you can see business casual men, smart casual men. These are all keywords I would have eventually like to rank for. And I believe ISU is ranking or was ranking for some of these keywords. Um, I think it might just be semi formal attire without the wedding stuff. Apparently I suits not, but I am in Italy. So the results are supposed to be in Italian. So it's probably a bit screwed, skewed, I should say. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are the broad keywords, summer outfits, casual attire. You can see this niche is cracked. It's honestly cracked how good this niche is. This is a good keyword. But what I personally like to do is I like to click on three month change and I like to scroll down past the trending, trending, the infinite trending onto these ones. These are the best keywords I've ever found in my life except stealing from competitors. They are the two best keyword methods, in my opinion. Using these in combination with ChatGPT is unbelievably strong. So basically, now we have the keyword, men's fall business, men's fall business casual, okay? So now we're gonna take it into ChatGPT, and I do have custom instructions set up. You could also use the playground to achieve the same thing. And what we want to do actually before that is we want to search for the keyword on Google and you want to find a relevant article that is ranking. So 
This one here, he spoke style. This is perfect because it is actually relevant to casual, business casual for fall or for autumn. And then I have a little Harper AI prompt right here that you won't be able to see, but you will be able to see it in the description of this video, or you'll just be able to see it um, when I use it now. If you're enjoying this content and you want to see more of this kind of content, please go on my channel and go to playlists. And this playlist right here, my most up-to-date chat GPT, SEO methods, etc. It's proving to be a very, very popular playlist. People are really, really enjoying going through it. It will teach you everything you need to know to make money online through blogging, SEO, that kind of stuff using chat GPT or other AI tools. And yeah, the prompt is basically saying, give me a breakdown of this page's on-page SEO. Give me the same outline, but from the perspective of my business, which is iSuit, iSuit.it. iSuit is an Italian luxury, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to press enter here, and then I'm hoping that it will give me all of the stuff that I need to write an article. Okay, my own prompt wasn't working for some reason, so instead I'm just going to use the um, prompts that were already here. So I'm going to say extract and research SEO keywords. And I'm going to press page text and press enter. Okay, perfect. This is exactly what we needed. So this is the one of the best ways to write content is to get something like this using Harper AI. And then we can also say, can you give me an outline to follow for my website? I so yeah, we've got the outline here and then we've got the keywords above. So we're going to put all of that into ChatGPT. So we'll start here with the conclusion and we'll include the title. So we'll put this into ChatGPT and then we'll scroll above this and we'll get the keywords as well. So we'll just copy this. Uh, we'll put this at the bottom actually. So now because of the custom instructions, if we press go, it should just be able to do it for us and it should just write us a complete listicle article. The one thing that I highly, highly recommend having inside your prompt is having a table like this at the beginning of the article. If you look at the semi-formal article, one of the first things is a table. If you look at Tiny Home Herb, one of the first things is a table, but it's not a table of contents, it's just a table. The reason is this is such a good way to get a featured snippet, okay? I really, really think that this will get the featured snippet for this keyword right here. So ISU is here. Like I said, I am in Italy and I'm not using a VPN, but ISU is here, which is really, really nice. This is a really good keyword to get. It's a buyer intent keyword. It helps people find our suits, etc., that we're selling. So it's literally perfect for us. So yeah, this is a really, really good article. It's basically taken the article that we can see here and it's just changed it a little bit. Um, made it fit our brands, which we are selling. And then all I need to do, which is what I always do when I'm writing for this particular niche, is I need to add my collections embedded into the article. That's all it is. That's literally all this article is right here. There's nothing fancy. There's no charts. There's no graphs. There's nothing like that. There are F F FAQs at the bottom, which is interesting because Google did say they were going to stop using FAQs but I can see them right here. So I don't really know what that's about. Maybe it was a trick to try and trick SEOs as they often do. I feel like they do do that kind of trick. The last thing you want to do, I know if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know this, but I do, I have to repeat myself just in case people haven't seen this video before or any of my videos. I go to Markdown to HTML and I control V it. I remove anything that's not relevant. So the chat GPT responses normally need removing. And then you can just give it a quick once over, make sure everything's fine. One thing I would change in this case is it's used each uh, internal link more than once. So I'd probably just run another generation. Um, I, I can show you what I mean by that. What I would quickly do is I'd go to new uh, chat, go to GPT 3.5 and say, remove one instance of each duplicate link in this article. And then what that should do is it should just remove any duplicate links, but it shouldn't remove all of the links. So we'll see. This is the KNT link. Let's see if it links it again. It does. 
I swear ChatGPT is sarcastic. I don't know what it is about ChatGPT, but I feel like it's a sarcastic AI. So I just tried it on ChatGPT UI, it didn't work. I'm just trying it on ChatGPT 3.5 Playground to see whether this does remove the internal links. It's still refusing to remove the duplicate internal links. I don't know what's going on there. Either way, you can still post it with uh, duplicate internal links or you can just remove them yourself. And then you wanna click on raw HTML and then this is the good stuff right here. This will copy and paste directly into WordPress, Shopify, whichever CMS you are on. And that's it. That's how you rank on Google. I'm shown proof in this video, getting about 13, 14 clicks a day. And it's literally just starting with this article. Come back in another three months, guys. I'm telling you right now, this article will be absolutely popping off. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.